Welcome to in 5 minutes. We take problem on determining the section modulus of a section. Find section modulus for T section as shown in the figure. So this is a beam whose cross section is of T section as shown in the figure. The dimensions are given. So we start with the solution. We determine the section modulus of the beam of the cross section about xx axis. So we have zxx which is given as ixx upon y max where y max is a maximum vertical distance which is farthest away from the neutral axis so to determine the y max as well as to determine the ixx axis we need to determine the centroidal xx axis so let us represent a centroidal axis xx axis which is at a distance y bar from the bottommost section we can consider a t section as a composite section consisting of two parts let this be part 1 and this be part 2 now let me also represent the centroidal axis of each of the part by two centroidal axis which passes through the center of the symmetrical two parts of a composite T section. Now let Y1 be the distance of the centroidal axis of part 1 from the bottommost axis and this is equal to if you see its length is 100 plus 20 by 2 so it is equal to 110 mm whereas the distance of centroidal axis of part 2 from the bottommost section is given as y2 and it is equal to 100 by 2 equal to 50 mm. Now we know the formula of y bar which is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 upon a1 plus a2. So we have a1 is breadth into depth meaning 100 into 20 mm multiplied by y1 is 110 mm plus a2 is breadth into depth so 20 into 100 mm into y2 is 50 mm this whole upon a1 plus a2 which is 100 into 20 this part plus 20 into 100 so this is equal to 80 mm so we represent the value of y bar equal to 80 mm in this section diagram now the moment of inertia of this composite t section about xx axis is given as i xx is equal to Ixx1 which is the moment of inertia of part 1 about its centroidal xx axis plus Ixx2 which is the moment of inertia of this part 2 about its centroidal xx axis. So we have Ixx1 is equal to now as we see that the centroidal section of this two individual part is different from the centroidal axis of the composite section we will have to apply the parallel axis theorem. So we write Ixx1 as bd cube by 2l plus a into y1 minus y bar the whole square this is a total moment of inertia about the central xx axis of the composite section due to part 1 plus we'll have bd cube by 2l plus area a2 into y bar minus y2 the whole square now this is a moment of inertia of the part 2 about the centroidal axis xx of the composite section. So if you substitute the value for part 1 we have 100 into 20 cube upon 12 plus a1 is 100 into 20 y1 minus y bar distance is 110 minus 80 the whole square plus for part 2 we have 20 into 100 cube by 12 plus a2 is 20 into 100 y bar minus y2 is 80 minus 50 the whole square so upon calculation we get value as 5.33 into 10 to the power 6 mm to the power 4 so we get the value of zxx as ixx is 5.33 into 10 to the power 6 upon y max is a maximum vertical distance of farthest point from the neutral axis so we see that the farthest point will be the bottommost point which is at a distance 80 mm so we have 80 mm so zxx comes out to be 66.66 into 10 to the power 3 mm cube with this our problem solved thanks for watching in 5 minutes